Okay, let's look at the function notation assignment. Um, it's also on Google Slides where you can do it on Google Slides if you'd like to, but I went ahead and just printed it for people in class. So go ahead and write your name on here. We, we are going to glue it in after we finish, but just in case it gets lost. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about function notation today. So um, our x value is our input and also our domain. And our y value is the output and the range. F of two equals seven reads, just like I said, F of two is seven. F of two equals seven is red, F of two is seven. So what that means is X is two, and y is 7. So if the input is 2, the output is 7. f of x equals 9 means, let's just write it as an ordered pair. So an ordered pair is x, y, right? So in this case, our x is just x and the y is 9. Then if we have f of 9 equals y, that means... X is 9 when Y is Y. So yesterday we plugged in and we did some substitution for X to find out what Y is. So today we are going to look at the different ways that functions can be represented. So we have the table, we have a mapping, and we have a graph. So look at the different names. We have a f of x is our table, g of x is our mapping, and h of x is our graph. So let's zoom in a little bit. So f of 0. So for f of 0, that means that x is 0 in the function f of x. So what does that equal? Yeah, negative 2. f of 1. So when x is 1, what is y? 3. g of 5. Yep. So on the g function, 5 matches with 4. h of negative 2. So this is with the graph. Do what? Positive one. So yeah, we go on the x-axis, go to negative two, find where that function is. And that point is at negative two, positive one. So that means it is one. G of nine. Do we have a G of nine? No. So it's either undefined or no solution. Zero with a slash through it. That's the easiest way to represent it. Undefined or just zero with a slash. No solution there. H of one and a half. 
So that means that my x value is one and a half. So I'm going to go over one and a half and to go up. Yeah, that looks about three and a half because that's one, two, three and a half. Yeah, I'd say that's three and a half. Number seven, g of something equals negative two. What is it? Seven. seven. Yeah, we're going to see if y is negative two, what is x? Okay, h of something gives us three. So I need to look at where y is three. So go on the y-axis, go to three. And what is x? What is it? It's zero. And is there another one? Two. There's actually two answers. So I'm going to put h of two equals three. So there's actually two answers on that. Because y is 3 at this location and this location. So that's x is 0 and x is 2. h of negative 1. Yeah, so it'd be right here. You'd go on the x's. x at, what is that, negative 1? Find out where the function is, and it is at 2. F of something gives us 1. Undefined. Yeah, there's no answer here. No solution there. There is no value on the Y. There is no 1 over here. It doesn't happen. So that means it's undefined. Okay, three times g of five. So what does that mean we need to do? But it doesn't say three times five, it says three times g of five. Can we find what g of five is? Multiply, we'll multiply. g of five is four. So that means that this is four. So then I have to multiply three times four, which gives us 12. So do number 12 now. What is f of negative 1? It's 0. So f of negative 1 is 0. So then you multiply that times 6. 0. Yep. Okay. g of 3 plus h of 1. So you got to find each one of those and then add them together. G of three is two. H of one, negative four. Oh, okay, sorry. Thank you. H of 1 is positive 4. So, so 
So that'd be two plus four, which is six. Ooh, the next one. So with parentheses, you always do the very, the innermost parentheses first. So which one would we do first? <clears throat> H of zero. So that means when X is zero, what is Y? X is zero. Oh, there's two ways of doing this, right? When X is zero, Y is three. Okay, there's only one answer. Okay, sorry, I got confused for a sec. <laughs> so three. And then rewrite everything. So G of three. F. So now we need to do G of three. Yeah, when X is three, what is Y? Two. So now it's F of two, which is what? Four. F of two. Is four. So all that work for four. <laughs> F of G of three. Which one do we do first? Yep, G of three. So what is G of three? Two. two. Now we need to do F of two. It's four. Yeah. It says F of G of something gives us negative one. Ooh. So that means I'm going to say F of something is going to give us negative one. Seven. seven. How do you know that? Because if you do G of seven, you get negative two and then negative two equals negative one. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we would say F of something gives us negative one. Well, we know it's going to be negative two. So F of negative two gives us negative one. But we want G of something to give us that negative two, which would be G of what gives us negative two? Seven. Yep. So it is seven. Okay, go ahead and do number 17, 18, and 19. Okay, so hopefully you did those problems. Let's see, uh, 17. What is F of three? It's not there, so what do we, do? what is our answer then? Undefined. Yep, just undefined. Nothing, uh, it's undefined, can't even find that. Okay. What about 18? What do we do first? Okay, what is H of negative four? Negative one. Negative one. And then we do F of negative one, and what's that? Zero. Zero. And then what do we do? Three. Times three. Times three, and what do we get? Zero. Okay, cool. <coughs> okay, number 19. What is H of three? What is G of three? Two. So what is our answer? Four. Okay. All right, let's look at the next one. It's kind of like a puzzle. Two times F of one. What is F of one? Three. So two times three is six plus five times something to get us negative four. 
So how do we need to solve this? Like we're solving for x, so it'd be like 6 plus 5x equals negative 4. It's not really an x, though. I mean, it is, but it's h of x. So we need to solve this out. So subtract 6 on both sides. And then divide by 5. So x equals negative 2. But it's not really x equals negative 2. We're saying h of something to give us negative 2. What is it? Negative 5. Okay, how did you know that? Okay. And we want to see negative 2 on, on uh, y, which is right here. So what is the x value? Negative 5. So this would be negative. Okay, number 21. If f of 4 equals 3, f of 5 equals 4, f of 3 equals 5, what is the value of y when x equals 3? Huh? Does it tell us? Can we just write out a table? So it'd be like four, three, five, four, three, five. Feel like that? And then so what is the value of y when x equals three? Yeah, it's just five. It seems like it's like trying to trick us, but it's not really. Okay, your assignment's going to be a Google form. And if there is um, prob if there are problems that you need to work out, you're going to work those out in your journal. So I'm going to post that right now.